Tony D with a screenwriter's rant. Uh, Little Jones sleep on the couch. We're going to look at Our Flag Means Death. This is the official teaser, and I got to say, it looks pretty good. Um, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Comedy Horror in South Jersey. It's the Pineys. Check it out at Amazon.com. Kindle Unlimited is free, and we still get paid. Now, this stars, you remember this actor, He's uh, he was in the Concords, he was the uh, manager character, and this is from, I can never say his name, Ta Ta Take Watiti, um, who, you know, I don't like his politics, but man, he is still pretty funny, um, and he does uh, What We Do in the Shadows, and this is a kind of a pirate version of that. So the premise is, this guy is Steed Bonnet, who's an aristocrat who wants to be a pirate, but he decides to be a gentleman pirate. So he wants his guys to wear powdered wigs and act like gentlemen, but, you know, as they rob people and do pirate things. And then the main villain and um, uh, Takiki Watiti plays him is Blackbeard. So, you know, because Blackbeard, he was ruthless. So this is like a funny pirate show. See, there he is. A funny pirate show with, um, um, you know, the, the creator as the main bad guy. Now, Leslie Jones is in it. <clears throat> I don't know who she's supposed to be. But it's a comedy, so I can forgive it. You can forgive comedies for doing, you know, these kinds of things and putting anybody in it. But, like, Leslie Jones, I don't think she's funny. But she's not funny in this scene, so... She's not meant to be funny, so that's fine. Our flag means death. It's going to be on HBO Max. I'll probably watch it streaming in March. It looks fun. You know, it, it, he's going to make fun of pirates. It'll probably be good for at least a season. I'll tell you, What We Do in the Shadows is one of the funniest shows ever. One of the funniest shows ever. I'm way behind on that, though. It's on FX. I don't have, I don't have free FX, but I do have free HBO now, so I'm kind of psyched for this. I'm kind of psyched. Unless he goes woke. Don't go woke, Watiti. Do not go woke. So, uh, yeah. These guys these guys look fun. It looks like a crazy crew of characters. Look, you can, you can go a lot crazier in this, in this world. Because it's a fake world. Because it's comedy. It's not about... The story is not priority. Although you have to have a good story. The priority is the comedy. So, if you could throw people in and make the comedy work, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as the story, you know. So, you can go off the rails. Look, he's got a diverse crew. Who cares? It's a comedy. So, in a comedy, you can do this. But, but, and this is the big but, you can't go woke. You can't go woke. Because going woke means you're going to follow an ideology and you're going to leave certain people alone. And you're not going to... You're not going to, you know, you're going to be very PC. You can't be PC and funny. Very little of it. And this takes place during pirating time. So you can't, I mean, if you're going to make fun of being PC, like if the main character's PC, that could be very funny. As long as the other characters aren't. As long as not every character in the show is PC. As long as they don't spend time lecturing you on feminism. You could make that work. So, I want to like this show. I really do. It looks funny. He uses um, Jethro Tull for the, the commercials music. I wish I could play it for you. It's a, it's a great song, Locomotive Breath. Um, so, Watiti has my sensibilities in a lot of respects. Not for, not for politics, but definitely for this kind of thing. And it's a fun thing. This is a fun time period to make fun of, too. He's on point with Blackbeard. Blackbeard was the man of that era. And he was ruthless, boy. And I'd do the same thing. I'd play Black Blackbeard, too. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He'd grow a big beard. Uh, Blackbeard used to... Uh, uh, he, he, he like, put little things on his beard and light, it, light his beard on fire. So when he went on board a ship, he wouldn't, like, you know, burn his whole face off. He would just... He would just uh, get his beard smoldering. 
because the idea was he wanted to be more intimidating when he got on the other ship. Like, it's like, you know, he was like a hellish creature and smoke would be coming off his face. So, and they've done a ton of things of, uh, you know, back in the day they did, uh, um, they did a Disney movie, The Ghost of Blackbeard or something like that. But these guys are funny. I mean, <laughs> I mean, this is fun, right? This is a fun show. Um, so I'll, I'll yeah, here, here he is trying to make up gentlemen. I mean, after a while, it'll probably get tiresome. Uh, here's a, another bad guy. Uh, Leslie Jones, probably not a bad guy. Oh, what's his face from Saturday Night Live behind her as, as his, as her, uh, servant. Like, see, this is a, this is something that Leslie Jones can work in. To me, she's the kind of actress, you know, in, in Ghostbusters, no, terrible, because I think they let they gave her too much leeway, and she didn't really, I didn't think she really had a good sense of Ghostbusters. In this, they've given her a very specific character. She's intimidating, right? That's well, you didn't say it, but I did. Uh, she's intimidating. She's a she's a bad a. She's a bad a. Uh, tough, and then <laughs> it's funny you got. An assistant who's going to be like, yes, I, I, yes, Captain, you know, that's funny. That's funny. So I, you know, I know I didn't get paid. I'm not, I'm not flacking for it. I just like this whole, whole trailer. And I really want it to be good. I want, I want comedies back. Please give us comedy. Please come back to us comedy. Please give up all this wokeness. Please, what TT, don't make this woke. Make this fun Make this action-packed. Don't address any of that modern nonsense. And this is what I said would happen, right? They're going to do more period pieces. More and more period pieces. Because in some respects, you're bulletproof. What are you supposed to say? Oh, you don't have enough people of color. Oh, you, you, didn't, you didn't address any of the feminist issues. This is the pirate times, you moron. The fact that they put any people of color at all in it. Uh, you know. And actually, pirates were pretty progressive in their own way. They didn't care. They didn't care if you, what color you were, as long as you were in the crew, as long as you as long as you pulled your weight. Everybody was pretty even on a pirate ship. Yeah, they had to be. I mean, it was kind of the way things ran. You know, it was criminal enterprise. Don't get me wrong, but they were they were the rebels of their time. So, I'm uh, I'm excited about this. Our flag means death. Check it out. Okay, streaming in March, and that's it for me, Tony D. Little Jones asleep on the couch. Check us out tomorrow for the live stream. I don't know if uh, Jones going to sit still for it, but I'm going to try to launch it around 2 p.m. Uh, check us out on Odyssey, BitChute, and Rumble for our other more base takes, including an hour-long Hollywood hot take today. I know, I was off the rails. Uh, we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>